we welcome you to downtown Houston, Texas. Today in Minute Maid Park, the Astros wrap up a three-game series with the Padres. Welcome back in, everyone. We're just a couple of minutes away from the series finale between the Padres and the picture. The pitcher on the mound for your Houston Astros today is going to be Jay. Lineup for Bob Melvin. Hassan Kim will lead off, followed by Jurgson Profar moving up to the two spot. Third. And your cleanup hitter is Xander Bogart. He'll be at shortstop. No Manny Machado today. No Fernando. This will be his first start in a major league game of his career. Two quick strikes from JP France. As he misses that one wide, it's one and two. A little bit up two and two. Being games over 500. And our one game over at home. Kyle Tucker moves to his left to make the play off. Right field in the other corner is going to be Jordan Alvarez. In between them is Chaz McCormick in center. A walk. Profar draws a one out walk here in the first. In last night's game, Christian Javier walking three. Takes one up for ball one. Yeah, that's an amazing stat line for me. Awesome. And now France has missed with eight of the last nine pitches after go. Runner goes. Soto swings and grounds it foul outside of first. He is going, and Soto takes ball four. So back-to-back -back walks allowed by JP. A lot of extra base hits. He's been beating the pressure most consecutive games with extra base hits. Seven. Going 14 for 28 during that time with five doubles, two homers, and nine runs. That's 500 average. Yeah, you're exactly right. Well done. And that's ball four. The bases are loaded. Three walks in the inning. So after getting Kim to fly out, Profar walks, Soto walks. Maybe take a pitch. Make him work for that strike. Here's a guy who can use the whole field as well. And here is Campisano. He'll take ball one. Really no reason to swing here until yeah. he proves he can throw a strike. Diaz in a bray you. It's a bray you, the first baseman who makes the catch. Here's Matt Carpenter. Makes his home in Galveston, Texas. Well, check swing bloop that is headed foul and out of the reach of Alex Bregman in the last six games as that is going to miss away. In the first inning. Carpenter slots at the 1-1, sends it foul off to the left out of play. Now one two. Nicely blocked there by Diaz. Swing and a miss, and he does get out of a three-walk inning unscathed. He's good all the way around. I said it last night. I'll say it again. I really feel like he is severely underrated. Yeah. I mean, you get so many stars. He that's kind of like the uh, label is like supporting cast. Right. But yet, kind of like me in this show. You know, a lot of similarities. Two old pitches. A broken back grounder towards third. Rosario fires to first base for Jeremy Pena. And Waldron's had kind of a tall task of facing some pretty good lineups in the yeah. games that he did in each of the last two outings. And he had four runs in nine and two thirds. Most recently giving up. Me personally, Mr. Vegas. Cha Cha Vegas. Yeah, I would like to see Wal. Chopped left side. Rosario on the run and in time, two down. And there for a strike over the inside edge. Yeah. There you go. Knuckleball. And into right field, a base hit. It's out of the reach of Kim. A two. Gotcha. That's a fly ball. Grisham's going back. He'll have plenty of room. And the Texas. That'll end one. Scoreless. Doesn't have as high of a leg kick. Not collapsing quite as much on that back leg. It's allowing him to get down the hill in their careers, but the pandemic certainly made spot for JP France and helped him get to the big leagues. Donna Mudd. Interesting, in, in the case of France, it wasn't introduced by the organization actually, but you're right. They have done a lot. Tell you what, I look at his frame six foot, 215, stocky. Bending him from having the downward plane towards home plate. Strikes that Grisham with a changeup. First time up. 
This year, seven games last year. This one is driven out towards deep left center field. The long run and getting too hot for the hot zone. Fly ball. Odo and Grisham. Trent Grisham sails over and gets it. Really good player. 3,000 hits. Yep. Bagwell one. Padres are here in Houston. But DiPizio here today. And a pitch in there for a strike. Did you play with him? I you did were, briefly. Yep. And Gonzalez, Mark Portugal, Scott Service. There you go. It was great. 2-2 two, two is a fly ball coming his profile. And that's out number two on the field uh, over the years with all the injuries that he has endured. And right shoulder surgery. He's performed dense triple A Sugarland this season. <laughs> and you're at home. Think about living accommodations. You can live in, yep. in, in somewhere Houston, in somewhere in between. I know I mentioned this all the time, but the most logical one that. Oh, there's some good ones now. I mean, Tacoma and Seattle, of course. Yeah. That's into left. As we head to the third inning, and Kim ducking back out of the way of a pitch up and in. Right. That's going to be a great story if, in fact, the Phillies get in we and just, go deep. Just saw them uh, going on right yeah. there. Traffic jam. Uh, wait till the last week, uh, 10 days of the season. That'll really get interesting. This is blooped to right center field, falling fast. McCormick will die. Then he makes the. You have to play by the rules. Yeah. Right? Over to first base and back is Kim. It's like ice. Letting the rules of hockey. There's a liner in the right center field that's in for a base hit. Over to. Her ball that time missing to one. Foul back to our left, coming in hot. Oh. 1-1 one, one pitch. In there for a strike. And it's one and two. Third is Kim. Certainly getting the attention of the pitcher in that strike three. Juan knew it. And takes and a ground ball towards second base. Out to bay. The second for one on the first for two. So when you see Campy catching the knuckleball, don't be surprised if you see that front shoulder a little bit facing. The course of his career has taken off is McCormick. This throw will get into center field. I'm sorry. It's like the biggest glove you've ever seen. It's almost like a big first baseman's glove. On yeah, that. basically the idea was over the last year it just got too floppy and he couldn't catch it. This gets away, can't catch that. Leonard Diaz batting. You know what? That's a tough one. I, you know what? Where? Because it's a knuckleball, right? Mm -hmm. but, but still. Run in here and a pitch away. No too big. High fly ball, deep back looking up, and that ball is gone. The year, and the Astros jump out to the 3 0. Yeah, our own. That. Love that. Was born in Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic's. We're going to Maine is on the ground up the middle. To the backhand is Kim off balance. Great play by Ha Sung Kim. Bob said earlier this year, you put him in the outfield and he turned himself into a great outfielder. He could probably catch. And three quick runs in the inning and a big swing and a miss for Alvarez. Okay, I always love doing this. Billy Swift. Yeah, based on his uh, World Series MVP and all. Probably the biggest name that came out of you, man. That, that takes over. He was a pitching coach for a lot of teams. He was uh, Kansas City. And a ground ball headed to shortstop. Bogarts goes to second for one, on to first for two. A double.